Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video about Battlefield 5. Today, I want to tell you guys, if you're solo queuing or you want to play Lone Wolf, how to do it on Aerodome. Now, what I don't mean is, like, you're going to play without squad mates, okay? Battlefield, the way that it's built, you need to work with your squad mates, you need to have squad mates. But if you're going to be that guy, you know, not on comms, you just want to chill, play the game, you know... This is how you would do it on Aerodome. This is how I would do it. You know, there's a lot of strategies. I would love to hear yours in the comments below. But we're going to get started with this. Now, the thing is, if you're going to play Lone Wolf, the way that I like to do it is a sniper or a long range class. I prefer the sniper class because of the spawn beacons, okay? Now, with the spawn beacons, um, what I do is I'll chill at the top of the map or the bottom of the map. And kind of watch, you know, okay, are we pushing C? Do we have C? Do we not have C? And kind of put my spawn beacons in positions to flank C or flank other objectives. That's what I use it for and help my teammates out. Then when I'm sniping, um, I always do this when I'm sniping. Well, most of the time. If I remember, if I'm actually trying, I'm going to snipe other snipers first and keep them occupied so that they don't pick off my teammates. Now... If C, which is always the objective that's being fought over, if you don't have control of C, or you do, and there's all the fighting at C, you're probably not going to need to snipe other snipers. You're probably just going to need to look out for the flanks and stuff like that. Now, the other thing that I'll do, if I'm playing this all by myself, is I'll watch the mini-map and see, okay, let's say you're playing the German side, and they have A, B, and C, and we don't have A, B, and C. We have the other three. What I'll do is I'll be like, okay, well, B's at the top. I'm going to flank around and capture B, because they're probably not going to be at B. I, I think that, at least for me in my experience, a lot more people spawn at A to go to C, or they'll spawn at C than B. So I'll flank around to B, put a spawn beacon down and kind of start capping it, or let my teammates spawn on it and start capping it, and then use that as a distraction or to flank C. Or the other way around, I'll take the radio thing if we're on the British side, and then go through it that way. Um, Hamada, or Aerodome like that is a very simple map. There's not a lot of strategy for me when it comes into playing, like, all by myself. And I don't usually play this game all by myself. I usually play it with friends. But that's kind of the basic strategy I use. Now, if you're using a longer range class, like maybe a support with a mounted machine gun, or assault with a semi-auto gun, I always push objectives with that class, but the way that I do it is I start picking off people, and then because of the way that the objectives are spaced out in Aerodome, like the, what I call the flanking objectives, the ones you take to help flank C, you can use long range because the other spawn points are far away, unless of course they have the spawn beacons. And if you're using support or assault, I noticed that the scoped weapons and mounted weapons can do really good at close range as well. It's just a little bit harder to use them. So that's pretty much what I do. A lot of it lone wolfing on this map is flanking. The reason why I wouldn't say go to C is because there's going to be so many enemies that if you have callouts, you're going to have an advantage. Think of it as when you go to C, you need to play like it's Rainbow Six Siege. Keep your corners, keep your angles, kill them one at a time and know that there's going to be call-outs everywhere. I find that when I'm playing with my friend Austin, and we both attack C at the same time, we give call-outs, we usually take C a lot easier than if I'm just playing by myself, running in there, going, you know, guns blazing, killing everyone. So I think that if you're going to take C, have a coordinated attack, or have a strategy. Have, like, a detailed strategy that you're going to stick to. And that's just what I noticed in my part on Aerodome. But that's really it for this episode guys this is for conquest because that's like really the only game mode i play on this game is conquest which is strange i like front lines but the more and more i played this uh, battlefield 5 the more and more that i've liked conquest on it i think it's just you know really fun so let me know what you think about it in the comments below guys if you have any strategies you'd like to use on aerodome when you're playing by yourself feel free to share those in the comments as well i'm pacific the casual gamer i suck just as bad as you do at video games and i will see you in the next episode stream vlog Instagram post, community post, all the stuff, whatever I decide to make. Oh, good. All right. Bye.